understand a thing or two. <laughs> it's, 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 it's impossible. I'm, I'm glad that you said that because I'm not an Italian player, but I've watched a lot of Italian games and I'm still none the wiser. Like, I'm not really sure like why the pawn on A5 is better than A6. Than A6. Yeah. Now, I understand that A5 has certain consequences. The bishop can now go to B5, but I'm not sure what this is plan i'm also not really sure like what kind of plan white should be adopting as well you know especially where to put the, the knight there on the queen side yeah miro are you the uh, yeah obviously i'm a proper person to ask I have <laughs> no slightest idea um well from my experience discussing this position with some top players they are not that far off from our noble who understands chess quite a bit, that if you chose to play with a5 and you are stopping b4, then you can play bishop b6 and take with the pawn. If you double your pawns, you go bishop b6, and at the same time you let white grab the space on the queen side, this is considered to be not very good. But once again, there, not very good, it's, you know, some this is a set pawns difference in evaluation, which for us mortals, I believe, <laughs> doesn't, really, doesn't really change much. So, I believe white, what white does usually is all the same, so hide the bishop, bishop e3, bishop c2, that's what he started, bishop goes to c2, knight will go to d2, f1, g3, and eventually he tries to play d4. So, that, that's pretty much where my knowledge stops. <laughs> I, I, I know one little rule as well, that uh, white tends to be better in these types of positions their light square bishop, even when tucked away, after the central expansion, will be better than black's bishop. Uh -huh, so so there's also that piece of knowledge, but as to which piece configuration white should be going for, I'm not really sure. You know, the traditional way for me is always knight d2, knight f1, and then knight will go to g3. But these days, you know, I've also seen bishop g5 be a very trendy idea. Whether it's valid in this particular position, I don't know. But uh, Bishop E6 is coming, so Grishik's uh, advice was spot on. Yeah, yeah. Bishop E6. So after this Bishop E6, um, now it's a question for the Bishop and B3, right? I think when you moved it. Searching for a longer day People feeling like the light has just come We must never stop What do you call them? Those? Yeah, the stick gear Those like stick <laughs> breathing thing, you know yeah. with The metal detector yeah. yeah, metal detector That they use to check And, uh, well, let's uh, move on to the chess And uh, we can see Hikaru is in full killer mode. He's in a fantastic position, about to win. Oh, and he's in calculation mode. Yeah. Calculating. <laughs> I like this. I like this gesture. Also, sometimes he um, trying to reach some invisible right, right, mouse. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, he does that so many times. Like, he's trying to reach the mouse and he forgot that Wait, he was it's playing it over the board. Okay. No. E5 played, so now... It's Black's only hope is that he's so managed to... All right, so after 93, right? Mm -hmm. He's saying rook takes bishop. You can take... Are you going to 86? Yeah. Oh, the knight is not 
quick no, enough no, to no, catch it. So that, that's why he played a5 so confidently, because I wasn't sure he had a d5. Once, once you see that Hikaru is doing this mirror, yeah, you you could be quite certain about it. <laughs> There's no miscalculation going on. No, um, um, Hikaru is a great calculator and yeah, great, great spot there from so what Hikaru. Do we have? But maybe Black can uh, play Bishop to c4. No? Not uh, immediately. Not immediately. That means the game's over, right? I used up so, many, so much of my energy yesterday finding the best moves. <laughs> now I've gone to you're work here. I'm going back here and I'm showing them why I'm an international master. Just inconsistent. Okay, yeah, okay, the move the king. Oh, then uh, their handshake, yeah, and then that is it. Hikaru yeah. wins. That's still did. And uh, yeah, Hikaru won both games. And he's one point ahead of Magnus Carlsen. He is one point ahead of Magnus Carlsen, but it's still very much early days. And uh, it's nice to see Hikaru and his opponent analyzing there. And that means we should move on down to some other games. To Anish, Anish game? Yep, let's uh, head on down there. And that bishop on e2 is very doomed.